Some people may find this video a bit offensive, but I think as a severely depressed person, I found out during my journey in order to feel better that uh, actually making a little bit fun and uh, taking depression a little bit less serious uh, may help you feel better and actually um, start getting back on the track in order to solve your problem. You know, depression started with the being a, a sort of disease, a mental illness, but nowadays, since more and more people are becoming affected by this issue, it's becoming a sort of feature of someone's personality. Perhaps it's spreading way too much. Since uh, back then I was the sort of special depressed kid which uh, had uh, almost all the attention, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna pull you out of depression, hopefully, so I can get all my privileges back. Depression started being um, almost a famous thing back in literature in the medieval times when all the authors, all the, especially the Italian poets, were all like, oh, why can't I get that fair lady that lived beside my window? And since I'm an aristocrat, it has to be my first cousin. Yeah, they were pretty much all in the friend zone. It uh, was supposed to be a sort of inspiration. Usually the depressed person was uh, too bored of the real world and actually went in the abstract one, the virtual one, a sort of prequel for video games, in which in the imagination you can do whatever you want and yeah, perhaps get married to your first cousin. Luckily we don't have this uh, anymore. So it got along pretty well for the artists, uh, painters, uh, songwriters, uh, uh, up until the sort of uh, 20s in which was still a thing and it was like all these poets be like oh I'm so depressed and I'm so cool in those days they were considered sort of like cursed uh, machos sort of cursed uh, cool guys you know with all that uh, sad look long not long beards you know they like to shave back then you know with all the mm, little bit closed eyes uh, looking at you with a a martini in their hands, all the like, you know, I have seen things you people wouldn't believe. Think about nowadays, I mean, what the, what's the last time you have seen someone picking up a girl by saying, you know man, I'm so depressed, you're not gonna believe me. I mean, how many times did that work? Well, instead, in all movies, it seems like that depressed, socially awkward, not very skilled in social relationship guys, at the end there's always a girl looking for him. That's bullshit. You don't see many girls noticing you because you're standing in the corner of the barroom, perhaps at your prom uh, without uh, someone to invite to, and then they say, you know, I like you for what you are. And then you say, oh really? Uh, me? Yeah, because I see inside you, and you'll be like, so you know that I'm depressed, that I'm a person full of shit, right? Because when you're depressed, you usually think that you are worse than the other people. But instead, there are some perks in being depressed. First of all, you become a great comedian. If you see in movies, in TV, the comedians that are the most excited, the most overwhelming personality usually are the most depressed and this is compensating. There's a thing called depressive realism that is when a person feels depressed will start questioning the reality and their personality in order to understand why they can't feel happy or they can't uh, you know involve better in some social relationship and also love affairs and with that you start to begin to understand a bit more. You look at the, the social relationship, at all the social structure in a more uh, objective way. You start to see things a bit more realistic than what they actually are. This is a perk of pessimism that all the optimistic persons can not have. Looking at the world with a bit more conscience about what's really going on and the world is full of shit. It's like people that may say to you, oh, 
why are you depressed? I mean, there's so much to live for. There are so many cool things in the world. And you'll be like, really? Really? Like wars, racism, pedophilia, sexism. And then they'll be like, yeah, you're right. Now I feel depressed too. And that's how depressed people reproduce. We are extremely contagious. Depression is becoming nowadays a little bit more of a trend, you know. It's coming back uh, to full glory like it was in the 20s. Uh, before it was seen like in the 50s, 60s, 70s, it was seen like more of a disease. Uh, uh, people need to be cured. There were asylums uh, still open. The, the bad ones, not the good ones that we have nowadays because, yeah, I have a tour guide. I'm like one of a critique. <laughs> I can be a critic for Asylum, you know, kind of like the, the Michelin Guide. Uh, no, seriously, I haven't been in a, an Asylum yet. Yet. If you see at the theaters, many movies will have like a, this very dark and grim settings, atmosphere, you know, like a superhero movies of DC mainly, but also gritty family stories, uh, uh, cases, unsolved crime cases. They all feel very, very sad and apocalyptic. They usually end with a happy ending, but boy, you need to work for that happy ending. It seems like in the dramatic openings, in order to link, to feel more connected with the viewers, it always needs to be someone dying. I can't stand it anymore. Why we have, why we need to have the cliche of a dead loved one in every single movie. Your parents may die, your, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your dog, your neighborhood, your favorite pizza delivery guy. Why in most of the movies and in games too? Why the protagonist always needs to be motivated by losing someone? Why you can just start an adventure because you really want to, because you, you feel you need a change in your life. Why? No. Because then we all want that inheritance. So these movies will always have some ups and downs in the middle, like things will get better, then worse, then better. In the end, they will get a little bit less bad, but still depressing, like, you know, Bob, our kid died in a car accident. And the protagonist will answer back. Oh, thank God, I thought for a second this movie will have a good ending. Oh, man, that was close. And so my first advice with this series of videos will be you can start fighting back depression with a simple trick that is fake it. Pretend that you're happy. If you're a girl, you probably already faked an orgasm, so you know what I'm talking about. For males, you probably it's more complicated you need to, to have a Marlon Brando voice, uh, tissues, and a little mayonnaise packet. Not to mention the meds. Zeus help us all the medicine you need to take for depression. I've taken them for about uh, five years. Only recently I've stopped uh, needing them. God, <laughs> the addiction expiring date was... <laughs> pretty hard to handle, though I'm still here. I've heard that many, so many young hipsters like to uh, party and get high with uh, antidepressants and uh, anxiety pills. So my question for you is uh, what I've been doing wrong all this time? Because every time I've taken them I never, never felt excited or hi. So what the hell did I do wrong guys? Please tell me. Because I've wasted so much time, I could have enjoyed my time so much better. So now that I finally got rid of them, you tell me that you use them to party and have fun? Screw you. Every time I've taken those pills, I was like this. I mean, I don't know if the new tendency, the new trend is uh, you know, it's so cool if you feel like a zombie, but man, I find it really, really difficult in order to get excited with this antidepressants. Apparently, they all want to feel like super calm, 
and down and they want to be like this uh, laying on the bed screaming inside your head oh god i don't want to get up off my bed i want to eat brains so my advice in order to feel a little better would be take a group of friends some of them who are not actually depressed and then bite them they will turn depressed immediately we are like zombies don't we so now that you have your group of depressed friends you can all enjoy together the little things we actual depressed people enjoy because many do not know but uh, when you feel in such a sad state uh, you start to enjoying uh, the regular life uh, things uh, very much better like sunsets or horizon clouds walking by rain on your head getting wet hot chocolate romantic movies Emo songs, Tokyo Hotel. No, Tokyo Hotel are way too much. This could be a very nice thing, enjoying uh, the actual everyday joys we have. Uh, we already have. Uh, don't think about uh, having being the happiest person alive in the world, but um, the happiest person in the world is uh, the one that can enjoy all the little things that happen to him. This is definitely a good thing about us. and. Uh, other not depressed people may have something to learn from that. Also about making a new friend, you will value much more that friendship. It's not like a depressed people has to have only few friends. It depends much on the value you give on this on that person. I think we tend to give more value to those we consider close to us. We much more have an intimate relationship with them. We um, tend to open up ourselves more with very few people. That's why this could be misinterpreted for not wanting to have friends. Instead, perhaps we want some friends and very good ones though. That's why in the end I want to tell you to try to be happy. You know, it may not work in the end, but trying gives you a different impression of yourself gives you the idea that you you can actually try to get out of this loop you know i consider depression kind of like a staircase you you go up and down always feeling better than worse than better you know you can only you need to in order to accept and fight at the same time depression is having fun while going up and down Unless if you go slide uh, along the handle, you feel a little bit of pain in your bolts, but, you know, that's part of the fun. You need to uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, you're always in motion, you're not... You're always uh, trying to reach the surface, and sometimes you may fall, but uh, there's always the staircase for you to come back up and feel better. As you reach the bottom, there's no way you're gonna go below that point you can only go up and feel better because you need to stop feeling depressed guys i'm a depressed person i want you to leave my area because i'm a fucking mainstream depressed bro sis you know you can't reach my level <laughs> see you peace and so guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this video uh, hope it was not offensive uh, probably if you thought that this video is offensive you are really in need of my advices and uh, because i wanted i wanted to try something different perhaps uh, this can be a new series i can do uh, making sort of sit down comedy about different topics uh, perhaps if you want some subjects to be discussed and maybe i can try to make comedy on you can write down in the comments and uh, yeah i hope that this video will help you a bit also in order to feeling better and maybe only have uh, just one or two laughs not it's not like i need to be the guru of your life but sometimes uh, some little steps uh, some little advice could be very very helpful in order to change the perspective so i uh, thank you very much for the time uh, you spent watching this video and uh, share it if you enjoy it with a friend that might also get a little smile or a little bit more depressed who knows and uh, we will see each other again in the next video I will make. And remember, if you can't sleep, the clowns are gonna eat thee the night.